Hello everyone, this is your Love and Finance Tarot Guidance for the month of August 2022. I usually try to make this one available to everyone every other month or so, so as to give you an idea of what I do. There are currently four different ways you can access this video, as well as my other special tarot guidances through my website, tarotbycecilia.com, YouTube, Patreon, and on Facebook when clicking on the Use app at the top of my Facebook page. Each of these is totally separate from the others, and access to one does not give access to another. This month I am including a special offer for my website, valid through July 31st. When you visit my website, check the discounts page to see the available offers and use the code AUGUSTLOVEFINANCE at checkout. Normally, I begin with events such as sign changes of the planets, as well as new and full moons, but I feel I must preface this with the confluence of energies taking place as July ends and August begins, making it one of the most pivotal or life-changing moments of 2022. So please do listen carefully to the astro part, with the month beginning fresh off of a wonderful new moon in Leo on July 28th, and a myriad of aspects, each equally important in their own right, having finished with a lovely trine between the Sun and Jupiter on the 31st. Mercury enters home sign of Virgo on August 4th to stay through August 25th. This is your time to get all of your ducks in a row, for it appears you are getting ready to do something bigger. Take note, Mercury will enter its pre-shadow phase on August 20th at 24 degrees Virgo, and it will return to Virgo during its retrograde on September 23rd, going direct October 2nd at the same 24 degree spot where it began its pre-shadow. Venus moves into Leo on the 11th, taking up residence until September 5th. This will assist you in carrying forward whatever you have put into play at the Leo new moon and will bring passion and drive to all you do with regard to both love and money. The full moon, also known as the Sturgeon moon, will occur at 19 degrees Aquarius on the 11th. I have been talking about this one for a while, so do stay tuned. The sun and the full moon will both be opposing Uranus, and this will not be for the faint of heart, but it is not all bad. And of course, be certain to listen to the full moon tarot guidance and read what I have to say for your sign on my calendar of planetary events. Mars will be in Gemini for the long haul, rather than its typical six weeks from August 20th through March 25th of 2023, with pre-shadow beginning September 3rd, retrograde from October 30th through January 12th, and post-shadow concluding on March 15th. There will be more discussion of this over the coming months, as this is such an extended stay for the planet of action and energy. The Sun will leave home in Leo, spending four weeks in Virgo, August 22nd through September 22nd, it is time to get back to business and be more practical about life. Uranus begins its annual retrograde August 24th at 18 degrees Taurus, going direct on January 18th, 2023. Uranus will be especially powerful at its station points and usually brings with it some form of catastrophic events courtesy of Mother Nature. Mercury will be in Libra from August 25th, already in shadow, and beginning its retrograde period on September 9th at 8 degrees Libra. As previously mentioned, it will return to Virgo, finally re-entering Libra October 10th through the 29th. The new moon occurs on the 27th at 4 degrees Virgo. This one has all the earmarks of a rather tough new moon. Stay tuned for more. And now for the aspects. August ushers itself in with a bang. Mars, your planet of action, energy, and yes, even war and aggression, will conjunct the North Node on the first. Energy to take on a new project exists, and it should be used wisely. Mars will conjunct Uranus on the first as well, putting many people in complete breakout mode. If something has been holding you back, you could find yourself going full throttle to bring on the changes. Be careful not to be overly impulsive. On the 2nd, 
Venus is sextile the North Node. And this aspect can not only bring you the people you need for support of your new direction, but necessary finances as well. Venus will also sextile Uranus and Mars on this day, giving rise to more fun and exciting times, and perhaps even a boost to your bank account due to an influx of unexpected cash. The seventh brings a trine between Venus and Neptune, and also a square between Mars and Saturn. Venus-Neptune focuses more on the softer, sensitive side of things, and is great for romance, creative activities, and helping others. While Mars-Saturn could leave your ambitions feeling thwarted, it is akin to the harder you try, the harder you fail. So just go with the dreamy Venus and Neptune vibes, and leave the trying to reach your goals for another day. The Sun will try in Chiron August the 8th, providing the confidence to undertake some major healing. On the 9th, Venus opposes Pluto, and it brings out the Stalker and the Green-Eyed Monster on full display. This is not a good time to enter into a relationship, and you should steer clear of anyone showing signs of obsessive-possessive behavior. Save yourself the time of needing to file a restraining order. The Leo Sun will square the North Node in Taurus on the 10th, and you could be feeling less confident about some of your changes and their ability to sustain you for the long term. Then on the 11th, the Sun will square Uranus the same day as the Aquarius full moon. People can be unpredictable now, and you could find yourself feeling some kind of something knowing things are about to change drastically. Do your best not to engage or poke the bear. Also on the 11th, Mars will sextile Neptune. This is a wonderful spiritual energy and could be the saving grace of the full moon if any other energies are feeling overwhelming. On the 14th, the sun will oppose Saturn. This is one of those times when feeling good about yourself could be in short supply, especially due to any limitations and restrictions Saturn can be causing for you. Remember, energy passes. The 14th brings a trine between Mars and Pluto, and you are back. This is an infusion of energy which will prompt you to get on the stick and make your goals happen. You can do this. Mercury in Virgo trines the North Node in Taurus, August 15th. Your thoughts and conversations are on point now. On the 16th, Mercury trines Uranus, giving way to such things as good news and great ideas, provided you are open to the possibilities. Venus trines Jupiter on August 18th. This is a wonderful social transit, bringing optimism and love. You should be feeling pretty good about money matters as well. The 21st features an opposition between Mercury and Neptune. This is not a great day for communication, and it would be best to avoid any important conversations right now. The mind, as well as the words, can be confusing, and it is not easy to ascertain fact from fiction. On the 22nd, Mercury trines Pluto. See how you feel about conversation now, and you can probably get to the truth of things, and also be able to choose the correct words to get what you want out of a situation. August 24th, Venus is trying Chiron, and often when you face wounds, you learn and grow from them. In this case, realizing more about yourself and your value as an individual, and that others have no bearing on your self-worth. Venus will square the North Node on the 25th, indicating there could be a significant relationship, which is parting ways or taking on new direction. On the 27th, Venus squares Uranus, shaking up any relationship which is not a stable one. It could be you or the other party desiring freedom and expressing themselves in unanticipated ways. Also on the 27th, the sun squares Mars. Inflamed egos, assertion of power, and far too much anger to go around can create some hot button moments here. Be prepared to stand up for yourself and what you want. Venus will oppose Saturn on August 28th. There could be some sadness in here, whether it is your love life or your finances, which are suffering now. Saturn has a way of making us feel oppressed, even depressed at times, and if you are feeling challenged, some alone time would probably be in order. 
This month only has 24 major aspects, which is less than the 29 in July, but some of these are much more intense. I have a little confession to make here, because as you know, you know, when I'm watching the news or the TV at night, I'm working on writing these things and getting them figured out often months in advance, but you know, multitasking, I suppose, while I'm watching the news. Anyway, when I came upon August, and I was trying to put the finer details in the astro portion of this, I was just like overcome with anxiety. I was like, oh my goodness, you know, this is just, it, it just feels like too much. But I had to pull myself back from it and say, well, hey, you know, you're in this story. And it started back around the solstice, right, in June. And we know that it continues into September and that things are different by September. Now, I think that this month actually has two pivotal points. One where you're really, you know, gung-ho in the beginning of the month and then the middle of the month, I think that's the, like the real moment when things are turning. And I, I wanted to try and think of an example and I guess I could use my age-old one of divorce. You'd be surprised how many people are out there who put off something that should have been done a long, long time ago. And it's like for some reason they've convinced themselves not to do it, can't bring themselves to do it, that kind of thing. And it's like that kind of a moment, finally getting it all together, finally taking the necessary steps to make the changes in your life, whatever that goal may be. So that's what, when I was talking about freedom, you know, if you've been, you know, feeling trapped in a marriage, even if, even if you haven't seen the person in ages, right, but still legally married, you, you get my point. You know, it's time, in other words, whatever's going on this month, it's time. It's time for something to end and to prepare for something else to begin. It could be your job, your home, your marriage, you know, your family, your friend, whatever it is, it is time. And part of the story that we have been talking about has been about your power, you know, because in some area of life, you kind of felt maybe robbed, okay, cheated, that kind of thing, and needing to get that power back. And I'm seeing that here, all right, because it feels it feels really pretty good to me uh, come October. And I know I brought up the new moon partial solar eclipse in Scorpio on October 25th. That new moon is going to be conjunct Venus, right? So we got something pleasant going on there. It's like some of this other stuff I've been talking about, I'm like, mm, right? But change isn't always pretty or comfortable at, at least, you know, that could be a good word. So, you know, as I'm here and I'm looking at, you know, this cards here, the challenges presented seem to be, you know, like closing doors and opening doors in, in both directions, right? Some things you just want to like, you know, that closet that you just crammed everything in and I just want to shut the door, lock it, walk away, and forget about it. And then there's other things where you're like, come on, let me in. It's time. All right, so this is all about your power. And it's about a three-month story from the solstice to the equinox. And, you know, and then, like I said, we see beyond, you know, what is happening by the end of October when the sun has moved into Scorpio. The energies in the beginning of the month are really designed to give you the courage, the drive, the passion, the energy to focus on taking your life back, all right? It's there for you to do and to make things happen. So there have been struggles to reach your goals. It is true, but I see all that changing. You know, you're not just getting wiser, you're getting smarter, you're understanding more. Um, I think learning not to be your own worst critic is a good thing, all right? So that's important. Now, 
figuring some things out. You know, because again, this is about freeing yourself and being patient. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is just like in insane. And then it's just it. You're going to do it. I mean, this is complete, total breakout mode. And it's, it's kind of a little off kilter. You know, August is going to feel chaotic at times. All right. Because it's a disruption of the status quo. The status quo isn't working anymore. You know, so how do you set yourself free? And how do you go claim the abundance in life that you know you deserve? If you've been listening, those who are joining in from like podcast land and all, you'd have to go and listen to some of my other videos. And here are the key dates I've been talking about. October 25th is one of them. And so is November 23rd. There's a lot that is going on. And many of you have gone through some really difficult times. I, I'm just, you know, when I, when I hear the stories, and, you know, believe me, I understand. But there's actual choices which are coming up. I say probably next month where you finally feel you have a choice. And obviously, you're going to take the road to abundance, you know, if, if you can find it, because I think you can. And, you know, that's just it. It's bringing balance back to life, bringing success. And there is this whole life kind of goes on mode here as well. There is definitely a great deal this month which is demanding of your attention, you know, whether it's facts and figures, your to do list, relationships. Uh, there is healing which is out there somewhere now you know given my example let's say you finally get papers filed to get life straightened out you need you need some recovery time right you know if you're someone who has really struggled with the concept of the change and trying to make things work you need time this cushion to make it happen and I'm, I'm thinking that the full moon, even if it's sending you off in good directions, which I think for so many of you it is, I kind of think that it's kind of overwhelming and burdensome, all right? There's a little bit of sadness around there, but it's expected. And knowing that it's taking you to, you know, newer, newer things. And, you know, it's all about your hopes and dreams and making your wishes come true i think you know something special is coming in september i don't know what it is i mean we got a, a bunch of retrogrades going on then but that doesn't mean things can't happen so i'm fascinating i can't wait to be doing that one to see what we have going on oh yeah maintain your light don't let anyone put it out i think that that is extremely important i know it's not easy in today's society to you know be kind wherever you go because there are some really awful people out there and you know it's just the the, the major change that i feel that's here it's almost like if you took a, a, a pin and you stuck it in, in the full moon, right? Because that feels like a big moment in the month. That happens on the 11th. You know, whenever, whenever Uranus is involved, and gosh, I even hate to talk about it out loud because, you know, this is what got me so scared. I remember those of you who've known me for a while, going back to 2018. And I'm not going to go into the whole story, but there was an Aquarius eclipse, which was in February. And uh, five days later, which is, you know, I give five days either way for these things. I'm just walking through the house and the phone rang and my life changed forever all right that is even though this is not an eclipse 
having both the sun and Uranus, you know, opposite this full moon, or both of the, I should say the full moon and the sun, both opposite Uranus. There's, you know, a catalyst here for a powerful, unexpected change. But I do believe that it can lead to some really good things. Here again, come November, December, what a, what a difference, all right? You know, like I was saying, with life goes on and, you know, things are just... <sighs> finally, finally, at some point, I'd say after September, really back to focusing on your hopes and dreams. They're still out there. I'm just... Yeah. I don't know what's been going on. It almost feels like there's this um, distraction that's here, all right, from routine. Because Uranus is not routine. That's one thing that you need to remember. So if you are someone who, you know, we got this Virgo energy coming in, right? And you think, oh, I'm just going to plan everything and get everything organized. And that's it, right? It'll all be fine. <laughs> think again. Think again, people because it isn't going to work that way. And you know? so the, the more rigid you are, the more difficult it's going to be to make the changes happen. But yeah, I, I just, it's a little bit hard to get used to the idea that life doesn't have to be the way it is. Sometimes we become ap apathetic, we become too comfortable you know we may have a really shitty crappy life but it's our life and we're used to it so why disrupt it why bring in major change it's time it's time to heal it's time to recover recover from you know the crappy status quo the what you've been cheated and feeling betrayed by the universe and for doors to open and new beginnings to come in so, what's the plan? I really do believe needing to break free permanently. Oh, you've got a new adventure coming. Oh my goodness, this is giving me the chills. I don't think it's happening this month, but I think that there is an indicator there somewhere, like a little hint that the universe is dropping, all right? Um, more so October, November, you're going to see things beginning to change and it may not even have to do with you. It could have to do with other people and other situations because the one thing that I cannot emphasize enough is that everything you are feeling is being felt everywhere else by everyone else and people need to start to you know feel a little more carefree a little more lighthearted. major decisions happening here I, i'm just you know probably some sacrifices as well it's all coming around that full moon this month mm. <laughs> all right you know when it comes to your past you know, there is this want to, I don't know, to win, to overcome. I say just move on from it. Oh my goodness. It, you know, it's, it's like once you walk out that door, once you walk away from whatever it is that has been holding you back, talk about your karmic moments. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Where are we? Let's see. August, September, October, maybe not quite October. I'd say maybe around the equinox. There's something changing there, all right? I, it, there, there's things in here that aren't to be seen just yet, but I'm liking October a lot. And I think that the universe is, you know, ready to say here, you know, Here's the keys. You tried to push on that door, what, back in August? Yeah, yeah, here, here you go. We'll make it easier for you. You can just unlock the door. Something, something, something's happening. 
All right, so the move that is made, five days either way, I'd say, of August 11th, and it doesn't actually have to happen that day because it could take a couple of months, all right, to actually see something come of it, right? I don't know how these things work, like when, say like when people get divorced, but if you filed the papers, depending upon where you live, maybe you gotta wait a couple months, and then the divorce comes through, you have that carefree feeling, and well, what do we got? October, November, right? Feeling different about life. That I, what I'm looking at here, just that's just it, it just feels different. You're so much wiser. You know, and a lot of times wisdom comes from realization. It comes from taking charge of things and, you know, saying to yourself, you know, you know, like you do that, smack yourself in the forehead. Oh, I could have had that all along kind of thing. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you. Now, things moving. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> moving, to, moving to beat the band. You got a lot going on. Now I happened to see the last card before I even turned over the first one. And I gotta say, I shouldn't be surprised, all right? I really shouldn't be surprised. It's almost like a, a removal, all right? You know, there's this wanting to hold on to what is yours, but there's this whole, you know, it's kind of been back and forth. Should I stay or should I go? You know, what is the right thing to do? Ba boom boom boom. I just think that really, you know, the Uranus action that's available throughout August is going to be, like I said, the catalyst for change. Whether you do it or <laughs> it's done to you, it's going to happen. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, picking out all that. Like if you fell in a thorn bush is how I feel about it. And you gotta, you gotta pull those out so those wounds can heal. I, I really think there's something major, major on the horizon. And I do not know how to express it in a way that applies to your individual situation, whether it's about love, money, work, you know, home, family, like I said, any of those things but there's opportunity here for, you know, those of you when it comes to money, you will be finding those things over these coming months that enable you to have more to hold on to. So, you know, there's change all the way around, but it's sweeping change. It's kind of like ushering in a new chapter, but finally clearing out an old one an old one whose time has come and is very necessary to, you know, be able to move on. Because I've been saying this for a couple years now, that wherever you've been, whatever you're doing, however you're trying to make things work, it wasn't, it wasn't gelling. Like the universe is like over here going, you must close this door in order for us to open this one for you. And that's where you're at. And I just think it can lead to some really wonderful things in the coming months. And I can't wait to share them with you. So if you're joining us from outside our usual group, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this. And to those of you who have been with me for the longest time, you know how much I love you and talking to you about all these things. This is a very powerful month. Use it wisely, take it day by day, and remember to go with the flow. I wanna thank you all very much for being here, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care.